Hey guys, so today I'm filming a clothing haul for you. It's mostly winter pieces, a lot of sweaters and most of the things are in grey color. The sweater I'm wearing now is grey as well, so I'm just warning you so that you wouldn't say Oh my god, everything is grey. Because I feel like this is the my color this season, grey and green. So I'm gonna move on and start with all of my grey items. So I was looking for sweaters and I could not find anything that I liked or that fit me nicely in Zara. Um, and I thought when I was kind of desperate, I thought, you know what, I'll just go into Benetton and get myself Benetton sweaters because I love them. I have like four, I think, already. And I'm basically living in my black wool Benetton turtleneck. I thought, you know, I need a different color because I don't take it off my black one. So I got a gray one as well. And I love these because they're very thin, yet it's 100% wool, so they're very warm and cozy and turtlenecks just keep your neck super warm because if I don't wear a scarf or a um, high neck sweater here, I live in a very windy city, I immediately have a sore throat and runny nose. I'm very sensitive to that. My Well, my immunity system is quite, quite weak. So. This one, it was like 27 euros, something like that. Another grey one, which I wore yesterday already, is from Veramoda. They had 30% off that day. And I am so in love with this one. I, I felt amazing, so warm and cozy wearing this yesterday. It's basically this kind of baggy almost shapeless drapey sweater that is quite thick and it has slits on the sides um, the sleeves are ribbed and then what I like the most is that the neck is much thicker than the sweater itself it's like really really thick and cozy um, turtleneck and it's just very thick material it's not natural it's um, let me tell you what it is. I remember it's 15% wool and the rest are 75 acrylic and then 10% nylon. So it's not natural but it really kept me warm yesterday and I love how floaty it is. Just all you need in a sweater. Cozy, floaty, loose and elegant looking. I, I love those kind of loose sweaters. I find them very elegant with um, skinny jeans and like high heel or just simple leather boots. Yesterday with Daiwa we went... There's some hair from all those sweaters on my nose, sorry. So we went to New Yorker, which we don't typically go to because it's kind of cheap, poor quality store. But next to the entrance there was a pile of sweaters in all those beautiful winter jewel tones like emerald green, burgundy, black, gray, navy blue. And they were 30% off, so you know, these sweaters were 10 euros only. Well, we could not resist. So we got two of them, Dai and me. First, I got um, this one in gray color and I absolutely love it. Finally found a perfect sweater. It's a very loose but extremely stretchy sweater and it, it kind of feels slippery. You know, it has a very nice drape to it. It's not stiff at all. It's you know, stretchy, cozy, drapey, it's just absolutely perfect. So I got one in grey, Daiva got grey and wine colored one. I got this one and I got the same one in this green color. It's kind of a khaki color and it's exactly the color of my eyes. So when I put it on in a changing room, you know, I... Instant, I was really surprised by the effect of my... I had bronze eyeshadow which also enhances the green in the eyes. And with this sweater, like... You can see, it's exactly the color of my eyes. So it really makes them pop. I don't like to use that word, but literally my eyes just glow when I wear this. And I don't think I really have anything in this color. So, yeah, absolutely incredible sweaters. I would need more in... I wish they had a white or cream one. Um, but he yeah, has such a great deal, it's just amazing. Um, okay, now the 
plus top was this one I got a while ago in Zara. Leka, my friend, we were shopping together, so she got one in this kind of gray color and I got this in emerald green. It's such a beautiful, vibrant color and I think it really suits me. And it's a new material. Well, I asked my mom and granny, they know a lot about textile and I can't remember, I just cut off the tag of what the material was called but they said that they have never heard of it and it's something new definitely. It's um, it's not really cotton and it's not um, silk either but it, lo it has the look of silk because it is shiny and it's kind of you know slippery, very thin and very very drapey, has this drape of silk and you cannot wash it in the washing machine so it's a kind of interesting, very interesting material and I love how elegant it looks so you can tuck it into into the you know skinny jeans or um, mini skirt or whatever it's just so beautiful and they have it in white and some bright cobalt blue color and it was like 18 euros I believe it's not very wintery but it's beautiful one just to have I needed sweatpants to wear in the house because I didn't have anything and these were just 10 euros and they have a ton of sweatpants and just you know homeware for very inexpensive prices very cozy materials this material is really nice so these are just grey um, sweatpants that look like this I mean there can nothing be glamorous or beautiful about sweatpants really but I like the style of them, the fit, the color, everything for 10 euro, I mean, who cares. I just really dislike this peace sign. I wish it were, they were just plain gray, but I mean, you can wear a sweater, a long sweater. So these were from New Yorker, but from the brand Fishbowl. Nice sweater, uh, nice uh, sweatpants to wear around the house. Um, then I got also to wear in the house these slippers which I saw in the... Uh, it's kind of a huge grocery store, huge supermarket and I saw these slippers this week and I nearly bought them but then I thought no I'm not gonna buy them now but yesterday I saw they were half the price so I definitely thought I have to have them they're some of the cutest, most elegant slippers I've ever seen. Aren't they just beautiful? So cozy and warm and just pretty looking with these ones. I think it's really nice. Then moving on to some accessories that I got. So from Benetton, um, the same day that I got the grey turtleneck sweater, I got this snud. And it is... The material is 70% wool, 10% angora and 20% nylon. So it is very very nice soft material and very warm. And it looks very luxurious I think. It's basically a grey knitted snot. It looks like that. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. Um, so you can put it the way you wish. It just looks like that and I think with a wintery jacket or a leather jacket when it's warmer it looks so chic and beautiful and it's kind of a I don't know it's a really really nice nut I love it and it was 20 euros um, I don't know why the lighting changed it's so weird in New York here yesterday also I wanted to get a beanie for myself something with a pom-pom you know cute wind uh, winter beanie and I was about to buy the burgundy one but then I thought, you know what, I think white one will suit me much better. So I got a white one, but it had only two left, one was completely destroyed. This one is falling apart, but I mean, it's not a big deal, I can fix it. And I just absolutely love the white against pale skin and blonde hair. I think it looks so cozy and wintry, you know, like from a... Uh, winter wonderland it is so cute I like it a lot and it was just 5 euros then in Zara I got oh it has Bella's here all over it already 
Um, I got this fedora because you guys may know that I really love fedoras. Uh, I got inspiration from Rosie Huntington Whiteley, uh, Millie McIntosh. They wear fedoras like nobody's business. And I saw this one, I saw also on Kate Tour's blog. She has this hat and I really fell in love with it. It was 26 euros, which is quite pricey, but I just like it. It's black wool fedora with these gold spikes. And it looks like that. Very bohemian and very cool. I really like the manly feel of fedoras and how chic and I don't know, kind of sophisticated they look. And I think when I go to Italy in March, I will not take it off. The next thing I got was this pyjama from Lindex. And I'm not gonna tell you the price because I'm giving one for Daiva as a Christmas present. I just... I'm going to say that it was a very good deal because they had all pyjamas for a very good price. Um, and you could choose from a lot of different styles, from, you know, cotton to fleece to all kind of different pyjamas. But I really like these ones because they felt more luxurious and classy looking. So I got my... it's... it's um, polyester, it's not silk, but it looks like silk. So it's a burgundy colored pattern pyjama, bottoms. And they had this style in two colors, so I got myself burgundy and then I got navy blue for Diva with a yellow tassel and here is the top part which is basically a shirt a button up shirt with navy blue buttons then it has this navy blue tie to you know tie around the waist with these tassels and the top and bottom when you wear them it looks so elegant and manly feminine kind of look so i really like that one hopefully diva will like it as well um it would be cute if we both wore them around the house if she came to stay over then oh in new yorker i got as well this iphone case they had them next to the checkout for um the price was reduced from like four euros to almost three euros so very inexpensive black case with mustache <laughs> I really like it. And then as a present for myself, um, I got these Swarovski earrings that came in this lovely Swarovski box. And you probably have seen me wear them already because now I'm wearing them every day in all of my videos. And they are just plain crystal studs that are extremely shiny and look like diamond studs. Uh, I usually wear my pearl studs, but I thought I I want to change it up a little bit because, I don't know, the, these go with everything, with all the necklaces and other jewelry that I wear. And they are just timeless and I'll keep them for years and years to come. So yeah, that's the end of my haul video. Um, let me know what you think about the items I got and also Tell me what's your favorite color, what's the, your color of this season. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.